First, happy Kali Puja. In advance, may Goddess Kali give you the willpower to fight all obstacles and give your life happiness and joy. So, happy Kali Puja in advance. Welcome there. Today's goal of this lecture. In my previous video, I have seen what is the compact set in a metric space. Today, I will see what is the compact set on a topological space. At first, I will see some various example of topological space. Then, I will define the compact set on this topological space. Actually, we all of us know topological space means this is made by open set or topological space generated by given basis or give a sub basis which generate a basis and these basis generates this topology. This is actual idea how the topological space be generated. Okay. Now let's see various type of topological space. At first, I will see standard topology on R. We all of us know standard topology on R is open int at bell AB, which is subset of R, where A less than R, sorry, where A less than B. If A equal to infinity, then the interval would be minus infinity B, means X belongs to R, X less than B. And if b equal to infinity, then this would be a infinity where x belongs to r at then a. In particular, r equal to minus infinity to infinity. Let x be r and tau be the standard topology on r. And b be the collection of the interval a b. Then every interval a b is open set in standard topology on r. Then I will discuss the different topology on R. Actually, topology generated by basis and when the topology is standard topology, then we can define various type of basis which generate the top standard topology R. First basis, first basis denoted by B1, which is actually open interval AB, where AB belongs to R. AB means obviously X belongs to R and A less than X less than B. This is actually all open interval, which generates the topology R. Second, B2, which is set containing the element closed A open interval B. B, B. Uh, where AB belongs to R and closed A open interval B means Obviously, the set containing x belongs to R, A less than equal to x less than B. This is actually half open interval. This is actually called the lower limit topology on R, which is denoted as tau L. The lower limit topology on R is denoted as by tau L. This is actually collection of all half, in, half open interval of the form closed AB. Here, this, uh, this bracket is closed and here this bracket is open. This is set containing those x such that a less than equal to x strictly less than b. This is the lower, this type of topology is called lower limit topology which is generated by this type of basis. Half means half open interval. Next basis is b3. Next basis is such type collection of all R of the form AB is open interval AB omitted K which is actually K means actually set containing the element 1 over N where N belongs to natural number that means this is actually AB omitted the set containing the elements 1 over N such that N belongs to natural number. And this type of set actually called K topology. Now I will see the metric topology. We all of us know metric space. And metric topology is 
let x be a set and consider one distance function who is denoted x cross x2 close to 0 infinity who is defined a metric and we all of us know distance function means d means distance between two point x and y now define in this metric space the ball is look like define for x in x and r greater than 0 bdx are equal to set containing y in x such that d of x y less than r we all of us know this is actually the r bar who is centered at x and radius r greater than 0 now define a basis bd on the matrix space x as follows this is the basis now tau d is called matrix topology who is consists of phi and all subset of x means all ball this is uh, the open ball of the matrix topology tau d then this tau d is called topology on the matrix space x that means this topology is induced by this metric which is generated by this type of ball i hope my all viewers have understood what is the metric topology okay ol as for example consider one set x and define one metric d who is defined from x cross x to close zero open infinity and the metric is defined as such type d of x y equal to 1 when x not equal to y at 0 when x equal to y. Now check one metric d on the space x. So actually the discrete topology is generated by single element. Okay, I hope my all viewers have understood what is the discrete topology. Discrete topology which is induced by discrete metric who is generated by this type of basis, single element. When x equal to r, then define the metric d is such type absolute value of x minus y. Then obviously tau d, which is generated by this type of metric, this is actually the standard topology on r. Here this standard topology is called as usual topology. And obviously, this topology is generated by open interval. And similar to R in higher dimension, x equal to R. Who is this? Obviously, R plus R plus R. Here, the metric defined such type in Rn d of x cross x2 open interval, close interval 0 infinity. In Rn, the metric obviously defined as Euclidean metric and Euclidean matrix is denoted as d of x y equal to x1 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus y2 whole square up to xn minus yn whole square to the power half. This matrix is called as Euclidean matrix and when the topology induced by this metric, then this topology is called as Euclidean topology. Obviously, the Euclidean topology is generated by this type of ball B of AR such that the set containing those element X belongs to R in such that norm of X minus A less than R and norm of X minus A less than R means X belongs to R in such that square root of x1 minus a1 square plus x2 minus a2 square up to xn minus a n square less than r. This is the Euclidean topology which is generated by this type of ball. Different matrices on a set may give the same topology. As for example, we can make the underlying set of points of Euclidean n space into matrix space into uh, matrix space in t three different different way as follows. Consider x equal to 
x1, x2, xn with a point in en and uh, define three different matrices d1, d2, d3. d1 defined as this Euclidean matrix, d2 is the soup matrix means we all of us know d2 is maxim uh, d2 is the picture of d2 would be such type in the lecture of matrix this i have defined this part elaborately this is the soup matrix d3 absolute value of x1 minus y1 plus up to absolute value of xn minus yn this is actually this square matrix and these three matrix are different metric but in topology these three space are same because topology generated by open ball here d1 and d2 determine same open set because inside any disk we can find a square conversely Inside any square, we can find a dex. And same remarks hold if we replace the dex or square by a diamond shape of matrix D3. Therefore, all these three gives rise to usual topology on E3. Therefore, these three matrix induced actually usual topology. I hope my all viewers have understood. Now oh, I will see new type of topology, subspace topology. To define compact in different topology, this type of topology actually very important. If you don't know what is the subspace topology, then you cannot understand compactness in different topology clearly this topology is very important let's say what is the subspace topology this is actually subset of a topological space this idea actually subset of a topological space and the idea is let x tau be topological space and y be the subset of the x which is subspace topology this y be the subspace topology which gives a way to define the topology not on x here on y okay this is actually idea of the subspace topology this is the subspace topology let x tau be topological space and y be the subset of the space x then the open set of the subspace topology on y r which is denoted as tau y this is actually set who is contain u intersection y where u be the open set in tau this is actually definition of subspace topology this tau y is subspace topology on the space y where, where y is the subset of the topological space x I hope my all viewers have understood what is the actual subspace topology. Now I will see what is the basis of subspace topology. Who is generate this topology tau y. If b is a basis on the space x for a topology tau then the collection b y which is set containing the element b intersection y obviously this b is the basis of the topology x and this is actually basis of the subspace topology who is generated the subspace topology tau y okay i hope my all viewers have understood what is actually the subspace topology now i will see some example of subspace topology if x is a discrete topology then obviously we all of us know basis of discrete topology is only singleton set uh, that means singleton set x where x in x this is the basis for discrete topology and if y be the 
subset of x then basis for this subspace topology would be such type this set contain singleton set x intersection y where x in x obviously this x in x if x belongs to y x is the member of y then x intersection y would be singleton set set x intersection y would be obviously y if x not equal to y then singleton set x intersection y would be phi therefore by is actually singleton set y or where y belongs to y or phi union of uh, bi is this content this type of element i hope my all viewers have understood how look like the basis of this y of this subspace topology okay oh yeah. next example x equal to r and y equal to close interval 0 1 then how look like the basis on tau y obviously thus here in x um, here the sta uh, standard topology obviously basis of standard topology is open interval this is the usual topology would be such type where y equal to close interval 0 1 then this is 0 1 th then this a b may be this type or maybe this type or maybe this type or maybe this type that means by would be when this type this is a this is b when this type then this would be closed 0 closed b where b greater than 0 less than 1 and when this type then this would be open a closed 1 when a greater than 0 and when contain this type a b would be this type then this would be a b when 0 less than a less than b less than 1 and when a b would be such type then this is nothing but only close interval 0 1 obviously this is not open set this is this is not open set in real number standard topology but this is open set in the subspace topology i hope my all viewers have understood this what is the actually the subspace topology okay well. i will see one more example of subspace topology r real line as the x axis in r2 here the subset is whole x axis and actual whole and topology is whole r2 this plane now what is the subspace topology notice the open set in r2 r this type of sphere and who is intersect with r and this intersection would be only this value and this is actually the open interval so any sphere which is intersect this x axis this would be actually the open interval so the subspace topology of r on r2 is actually this subspace which is denoted as tower is actually usual topology on 
R. This is actually standard topology. This contain all open interval. Okay. Now I will see one more example because subspace topology is very important for higher study. If you understand this example in better way, then you will understand other property of compact nets connectedness on subspace topology in better way. Here the example is tau is Euclidean topology on R. And obviously Z be the subset of R. Then tau Z is actually subspace topology on R is actually the discrete topology. Why? Notice here the picture would be such type oh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, such type. Z would be such type. Now consider one open interval minus 1 to 1. Obviously, this is open interval in real number. Now, this, this intersect with, with Z would be only singleton set 0. Similarly, if you consider the open interval 0 to 2 intersect with Z would be only 1. So, actually the subspace topology on Z which inherits by real line, this is actually discrete topology because discrete topology contain only single element okay now i will see our actual goal of this lecture what is the compact set in topological space in metric space we all of us know compact means every open cover has a finite sub cover in topological space this is also same the definition is let x tau be a topological space and i be an index in set such that small i map to ui where the set containing ui such that i belongs to i be an index family of open subset of x then i goes to ui imply capital I be, uh, goes to tau then obviously the set ui where i belongs to capital i is an open cover of the topological space x uh, that means each i belongs to i ui which contain x is an open subset of the topological space x that means x equal to Union I belongs to capital I UI where for all X belongs to X and there exist I belongs to I and X belongs to UI. Then X is compact if the set containing UI where I belongs to capital I is an open cover of X and compact means always finite sub cover that means there exists finite subset A which contain I such that X equal to union I belongs to F UJ. This is called definition of compact set. That means if every open cover has a finite sub cover, same definition only here the set is index in indexing set. For example, if we consider real line with Euclidean topology, this is not compact because we all of us know here the open cover is such type minus i to i where this is union i belongs to cap index set capital I. 
this is uh, open cover of R but it has no finite sub cover it has no finite sub cover so R with respect to uh, usual topology is not compact but consider x tau where tau is discrete topology and here in discrete topology the open set is look like ux where x in x singleton set uh, containing x this is the open cover and we all of us know discrete matrix is compact when the matrix space is finite similar to matrix space This topology is compact when X is a finite set. Okay. Otherwise, this is, this is when X is infinite set, then this is not compact set. Today I will stop here. In my next video, I will discuss compact set briefly in different topological space. At first, I will highly recommend you. Please see today's video. The, please understand how look like different topological space. Then in my next video I will discuss compact set in different topology briefly. Okay. See you soon. Stay safe and stay positive always. And don't forget to do subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you so much.